Hey, uh, here we are at uh, Bermagui Beach, ready for another day of racing uh, in the George Bass. We're looking for a very exciting day today. We uh, don't have the same weather conditions that we've had in the last three or four days. Uh, the beaches are a lot calmer, uh, which also brings into question the uh, factor of uh, safety which has been raised over the last day. We've had uh, pretty rough conditions in the last two days of the race, but uh, look, uh, the guys running this, uh, the George Pass Surf Boat Marathon are uh, highly skilled surf lifesavers. Uh, Bert Hunt, the race uh, organiser, and uh, Dave Feeney, his uh, support guy, have got over 100 years surf lifesaving between them. They make good conditions uh, for all of the people involved. The other thing to keep in mind with uh, the George Bass, everybody involved in it, uh, every boat rower, every surf ski paddler are surf lifesavers. They're elite surf lifesavers that uh, have trained for uh, a marathon that goes for 180 kilometres and they are geared to operate in all conditions. Uh, as a surf lifesaver, we do all our work in those sort of conditions. Uh, the rougher it is, the more work we get. So uh, any uh, concerns at all about safety on the George Bass are not really a concern based on all of the procedures that we have in place. As for today, uh, as we leave uh, Bermagui today to head to Tarthra, it's the longest uh, race leg of the day. It's 36 uh, kilometres. We've got southwesterly winds, which is the first time we've had to row into wind over the whole uh, uh, four days of the race so far. And it's going to test the, uh, the metal of everybody out there today. Uh, the, uh, it's a hypothermia sort of a day. It's, uh, we're expecting a little bit of rain. It's 100% uh, cloud uh, cover at present. But uh, all of these athletes are trained for this. They all understand it. Over the last six to 12 months, they've been rowing in all of these conditions, and we expect uh, very fierce competitive uh, racing today. And this is the leg that everybody wants. The elite rowers really love this leg. This is the one that puts them above uh, all of the pretenders. One of the important things to understand about this race is that surf lifesavers uh, have to do uh, rescues on very, very dangerous uh, beach situations. And um, it's not much use as practicing and training in, in flat water and calm water. Um, the, way to, the way to improve and, uh, and improve our skills and to, and to learn more about uh, what we need to, uh, to do in our training is to get out of those sort of tough conditions. And today there was a whole bunch of lifesavers out there that proved uh, just how fit they were. And the Australian public can feel very proud in the knowledge that uh, they have uh, some lifesavers out there of, of tremendous capability. It's a long day, that's what this race is all about. It's an endurance race. Today was pushed their endurance to the limit. We've had um, maybe about 10 people who are fairly hypothermic, fairly cold. We've had um, a few, few of those are seasick. The seasickness, of course, contributes to the hypothermia because they lose their, their food and their energy. But all the ones that have been in so far are now better and they've gone, gone to their support craft and they've disappeared. We're expecting, in fact, I can hear one coming over my shoulder now. We're getting a, a few more rowers in off one of the boats that have been transferred. The, if we do get any problems, the problems are really going to be with the crews that are still out there because they've been out there now for well over four hours and they're getting pretty tired. But the Iron Man lasts for nine hours, so I've got to go. <laughs> I have a collapse. That's great. We just try and warm them. You get their wet clothes off, you get them out of the wind. We put them in space blankets and nice warm blankets, give them warm drinks and uh, see how they go. Thanks, Bert. You're going to get uh, another boat coming in. The Bermagui support boat has got one on board. They're going to give us a call when they're about a minute, two minutes out. Over. They'll meet a duck to go out and pick up the patient. Copy that. Greg, did you hear that? Uh, unless they have the Bermagui support boat coming in. i got to say that uh, there were great periods of the day where I, I would rather have been in the back of a surf boat than, uh, than there. Uh, being in charge of the race uh, because it's always very tough when you see athletes go through the level of pressure that they were under there today and um, it's uh, but uh, look having said that um, I've nothing but admiration that uh, crews can stick it out uh, and with with crews uh, down to five rowers because of, uh, of injury and illness and still stick it out for six and a half hours on the water um, that's something that uh, you just don't uh, see in, in, in everyday life.